When Loki the raccoon was still a baby, a man named Wag found him abandoned and very sick. Fearing for his life, Bag took Loki in and became his lifelong friend. Little Loki was suffering from dehydration, parasites, abscesses and other injuries when he was found, and would likely not be able to survive on his own. The man fed the little raccoon a bottle every two hours. After the little raccoon ate, he liked to fall asleep on the man's chest. Loki recovered and was raised with the hope of being released back into the wild. As Loki grew up, his parents made sure he could leave whenever he wanted and could always come and go as he pleased, but ultimately Loki decided to stay. The raccoon didn't want to leave the family that raised him and stayed with them, even though he was old enough to leave. After all, they saved his life. Most animals naturally respond to nature's call and leave their parents to live alone. Loki was a rare exception and he didn't go away, no matter how much we encouraged him. Loki lived happily with his family until his last days, which, unfortunately, came too soon. A raccoon has died a year after being rescued from complications caused by a vaccine. Even though Loki's life was short, it would have been even shorter if it weren't for the incredible family that saved him and raised him to have the freedom to do what he believed was right. Loki's family mentioned several times that raccoons should not be taken from the wild and kept as pets, and that Loki was the salvation and the exception.